lovers, it's Malia. So today we're going to talk about the second book in the Waterfire Saga, Rogue Wave by Jennifer Donnelly. And I really enjoyed this book. There's so many things to love about it. So let's just get started. The first thing is, if you see here, I love how the chapters are correlated in the purple theme of the, of the cover. And I also really like that the chapter and page numbers are also unique and they have it on a different side than what you're usually used to, which is usually on the bottom. So that's the first thing that I really enjoyed about it. The second thing that I liked is that this is so beautiful. And I looked at a YouTube video, which you can find right here, a really cool kind of like a scheme of Jennifer Donnelly herself telling them of what inspired her and what kind of details they had about this new undercover, um, undercover, underwater world. And so I really enjoyed that. It's just beautiful scheme. They have actual models that did these beautiful portraits. And so I just love it. So that was the second thing. The third is let's just get started in talking about the book. So it started off just at the beginning with a lot of mystery. The man with no eyes saw Serafina behind the silver glass and he saw her again and so he smiled. And I thought it was really interesting because he has more mystery to him. Apparently he's been waiting a really long time to strike. He's been waiting centuries and he's still and he's just like just be patient you you'll time will come where you will just take over the sea with darkness and that's the prologue so in the first chapter happens when we left off Serafina she was in the silver glass and I think it's really interesting because as she's swimming through this syrupy glass she is looking for a silverfish and the silverfish is able to help her escape from the mirror realm but before Serafina is able to find the silver fish, Worm comes out of nowhere. And Worm is very disgusting. He's like the ruler of the mirror realm. And you know you kind of have that, see that guy who just can't stop eating no matter what he wants to do. He just, when something's so delicious, he just needs to put it in his mouth. Well, what he feeds on is fear. And it grows on like the back of their neck or on their vertebrae. And he just, it's like called a dark thing. And he just picks it up and it just, it tastes like chocolate to him or something. It's disgusting. I think it's really gross. And so Serafina is just terrified of him. And so he's trying to taunt her in order to have her fear come out and so then as Serafina's stressed out and all this fear is just coming back and erupting from her she says to herself you know what my mom told me to use my fear as a weapon so she's able to kind of fight her fear be like you know what I'm not scared I'm terrified and this is all the reasons and Roram is just gorging himself and eating and eating and eating and it felt like some of the people I saw yesterday at Thanksgiving were just eating and eating and eating until he was completely stuffed he couldn't do no more and that's when Serafina's mind got clear and she she was able to find the, the silver fish and escape. And that's how the first chapter ends. So it already starts off really exciting. And what I liked about this book is that it had so many questions in deep blue, so many questions. And they were all answered here, but in like a really, really interesting way. But there was no conclusion. And I was just horrified, like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, there's a third book. And I think there's a fourth book, so I'm not sure about that. I'm gonna look more in detail. If you guys do know, please comment below. I would love to hear what you guys have to say. And so those are just the quick things that I love about Rogue Wave. I'm very excited to read Dark Tide, and these are the books that I'm reading. I wanted to thank you, Jennifer Donnelly, for writing this amazing novel. And it is, so far, my favorite, favorite mermaid series. And let me tell you now, I love mermaids, everything about it. So I am so surprised I've never heard of these books. But I'm so thankful that I did. So thank you, Jennifer Donnelly, for writing this amazing novel and having it just the undersea world come to life. And thank you so much, Disney Hyperion, for publishing it. It was It's because of you I'm able to read this. So thank you, Disney Hyperion. And you can find their channel right here. So click here for my favorite video of the week right now. And then also click here for my favorite mermaid video that's going on right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate your time. Any kind of mermaid things that you guys like to talk about or if you read Rogue Wave, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Thank you guys so much for your time and enjoy every moment.